Hello and welcome to Dishing Delights. My name is Jenica and today I'm going to have you come along with me as I can tomato sauce for the first time and make some goulash. The first thing on the agenda today is to make sure that the tomatoes are thoroughly cleaned and that any bad tomatoes are removed. I have just under 30 pounds of tomatoes that I am going to process today. These came out of a family member's garden and last week I made some tomato juice and tomato sauce. I froze all of that. So this week we decided to can some tomatoes to store for the winter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the tops off of these Roma tomatoes. I'm just going to cut an X. I need to sharpen my knives apparently. I'm just going to cut an X. Can you see it better there? Can you see it? There you go. I'm going to score an X into the end of the bigger tomatoes. I'm going to sharpen my knife real quick. If you don't have one of these knife sharpeners, they are the most convenient thing ever. And they really don't take up that much space. I think this is one of my favorite things about having a butcher block countertop is when you tackle big projects like this, I'm not chasing a cutting board down the whole day, I can utilize the whole countertop while cutting my produce up. Alright, I'm going to take these and drop them in for 60 seconds. It has been 60 seconds, so I'm going to take these out and toss them into an ice bath. As you can see here, these just peel so easily. And if you ever see a piece that needs cut out, just cut it out. Okay. 
All right, I'm trying to go as fast as I can. So I'm filling these sanitized jars up with tomatoes. Some of these are quartered, some of these are half. These are regular mouth jars. Usually I use wide mouth, but now, but you know, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. I am making an absolute mess. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some lemon juice and I'm going to put a tablespoon in each jar. Alright, I am not going to salt these. I'm going to salt these as needed when I actually make my recipes. But the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to, oh no. Anyways, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some boiling water and I'm gonna add it to these jars. Whoa! I got a little too much in that. I'm gonna have to redo that one. Whatever you do, do not use a metal knife like I am. This was a mistake. Use a wooden skewer or use like one of the actual devices for candy. I have one. I don't know what I was thinking here. But the reason for this is just to get all of that air out. I'm gonna make sure that these are all clean. And then I'm gonna put, whoa. And then I'm gonna put a lid on my jars. Make sure you have clean hands. Then I am going to make sure these are finger tight. I am so excited for these. I put these in a canner that had some warm water in them and then I brought them up to a boil and processed them for 45 minutes. I ended up with 14 quarts from this. I'll leave the link to the video that I used down below. These turned out absolutely amazing. Now that I've washed these four jars, I'm just gonna wash the rest of mine. And then I'm gonna put a label on the lid and then these are all finished up. These turned out beautiful. Now, of course, we could not wait. And so the next day we ended up making a simple goulash. I used some of those canned tomatoes, some elbow macaroni, some ground beef I had left over, some beef broth. I just used bouillon, an onion. I also used some Worcestershire sauce and some soy sauce and then I also grabbed some tomato sauce and then I used some Italian seasoning to season it up as you can see I took a little bit of olive oil and put it in the bottom of my cast iron pan and then I just added my onion and I'm gonna let that onion cook a bit Now that that onion is cooked, I'm going to add my ground beef and I'm also going to add some of those tomatoes and some of the tomato juice. Because I'm not making a big batch, I didn't use this full container, so I'm going to leave some for another date.
Now I am going to add in the rest of my other ingredients. I added my tomato sauce and now I'm going to add my seasoning. And then after that, I'm just going to add a dash of Worcestershire sauce and also a dash of the soy sauce. With some of that tomato juice, I added in just over a teaspoon of beef bouillon. If you want to, just add some beef broth. And then I'm just gonna add in my noodles. Now, if you see that your goulash is getting a little bit too thick, add in water as needed. And this is where I've completely forgot to put a green pepper in. So I added that really thinly sliced and just kind of cooked that into the dish. And here I also added in just under a tablespoon of sugar. This really brings this dish together and breaks down the acidity. I am just going to serve this up with some bread and butter and add in some Parmesan cheese. And that is what's for dinner tonight. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so you can be notified when I upload my next video.